So I'm here with Jeff Lawton of PRI, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about aquaponics and how it incorporates um, permaculture design philosophy. Um, so Jeff, I just want to ask you, um, how does aquaponics uh, work within the permaculture uh, framework, and how is it a useful tool within permaculture, in your opinion? Well, it's particularly useful as an urban system because the intensity of uh, urban um, systems today where the vast majority of people are living in more and more urban, dense situations. And it's, um, it's one way that you can get a local fresh food where there's not a lot of area. So you're, um, you've got high quality um, vegetable production and, and some trees as well can be grown. Um, and uh, a reasonable production of uh, um, protein. So your, your fish, mostly fish, although it could be other aquatics, um, have a reasonable quality as well. So um, the permaculture angle on the design elements are, um, can the energy input be uh, kept to a minimum and renewable or as renewable as possible? Um, and then can, um, can the feed line for the, um, um, aquatics, can the fish, if it's fish or crayfish, can they f be fed with uh, a, a sustainable food supply line? Um, and uh, ideally, eventually, um, urban lakes and urban aquaculture and peri-urban agriculture kind of replaces those energy input requirements. Sure. And <laughs> for, uh, for people who um, kind of have strong opinions about um, getting their food from the soil, um, who feel that growing in soilless or hydroponic type environments uh, isn't very natural. What's, what's your opinion on, on that? Well, hyd hydroponics, I'd say they're quite correct and, and, and um, they should be careful about hydroponics for sure. But aquaponics creates soil biology that replicates uh, high quality soils from what we can see when we get the microscope out and have a look once you've built up a, a stable and functioning uh, aquaponic system uh, the biology that uh, we pick up in amongst the uh, grow medium whether it's gravel or clay walls or whatever it is uh, appears to be exactly the same as a nice diverse healthy soil so when you look at the nutrient density of the food it comes up very high as well so I don't think there's a lot of difference. It's it's a lot better than you buy net normally, sure. and obviously potentially a lot cheaper, and a, a lot fresher, and a lot more potentially local. All of those are worth going for. Uh, we Excellent. even get earthworms um, in in the in the aquaponics, and we don't know where they come from, but they <laughs> arrive. So they're about you know it's a living element diversity that increases. That's the indicator. That's all the indicator you need. You don't need other indicators. Sure. Great. Um, and then overall, do you think that the labor input necessary in aquaponics is worth it for what you get out? Uh, I, I think the labor input's good. The regularity discipline is something you have to um, emphasize, um, particularly on the fish or, 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 the, or the aquatics, whatever they are. You, you know, so the, um, it's, it's not a, a real lot of energy, but it is a lot of observation. There's a lot of check-in, there's a lot of being red, you know, you need to be pretty regular on it, that's, that's about it. But you do with most, you know, beneficial systems, um, you know, if you're talking about ecosystemic type growing, you're the same, you sort of got your eye on it all the time. I, I don't think, uh, I don't think it's a, a high energy input with, with people labour, but it, it's always that, yeah. where's that electricity coming from to run the pump? Sure. And that's what we're refining all the time. Uh, the embodied energy in the pump, the embodied energy in the materials. That's the same as everything. But at this point in history, this many people living in cities and, and high dense suburbs, then I think it's a great way to kick people's um, direction towards natural systems. So ironically, I think it aims towards nat nat more natural systems mm -hmm. and it potentially becomes redundant in the end, but it's, I'm more and more in favor of it being appropriate right now. Excellent. Thanks very much. I really appreciate the information. <laughs>